Good evening and welcome to Think Safety First. I'm your host, Jacob Adolphus, and with me today I have Mrs. Crystal Abel. Good evening. And today we'll be discussing hurricane preparedness for children. So, Crystal, tell us, how can we get our children prepared for hurricanes? Uh, one of the best things that we can do with our children, no matter how young they are, just as soon as they're speaking, we can teach them to use their first and last names. Um, once they know their name, once they know our name as the parents or guardians, that's going to be really helpful in helping them get reunited back with us if we get separated during an emergency. Okay, which is very good information because when I was growing up, I knew was, what is your mommy name? Mommy. What is your daddy name? <laughs> daddy. So that is very good. What about, what about teaching them about their, your, maybe your, your cell phone number or the parent's cell phone number? Absolutely. As they get older, knowing a number to where they can reach you on their own is really helpful. Okay. Um, what, what else can we do? What could, could, could we, could we um, have them write their names and phone number in, in books? Definitely. Um, a lot of times what you will see with um, young children's bags and coats, they will actually have a little space so you can write the child's name, right. probably age, phone number to review, um, which is a good place to start. Mm -hmm. You can also just put it on um, like an index card in a Ziploc bag and tuck it in their same bag that they go wherever they, when they go to school or granny's house, wherever they go. Okay, okay. Um, what, about, what about in regards to other stuff that the children can do? or to help them get prepared? So as we get ready for hurricane season, most people would be getting their emergency kits together. It's a good idea to let children, especially older ones, help decide, you know, this is how much water we need, how much food, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, they can also assemble their own go bag. This is the bag that if you have to evacuate and leave your home in a hurry, you're just grabbing it and running off. Um, the fact that they can make their own and it has in what they need and then right. maybe even something to give them a little comfort you mm -hmm. know, if they have a little lovey or something like that. Um, it's very empowering for children. So they, they really feel prepared. Okay. And, and as you said, by, by having them help, get them involved, and will also enable them in remembering what to do in a next situation like that. Yes, precisely. Because you are initiating the conversations in a way that is open and welcoming it's about information and facts. It's not about um, just instilling fear into them. Okay. What about, what about having, um, let's say, for instance, informational books for whatever age, uh, age range it may be? For, like may, for example, we may have a, a coloring book that the children may be able to color, a hurricane, a color a home, whatever it may be. Those are, those are stuff that we can use? Definitely, definitely. So we know, um, like, for example, at Department of Disaster Management, we have some workbooks for children, um, storybooks that explain different emergency concepts for them, like flooding, tsunamis, hurricanes. Um, but what it does, again, it kind of opens up the, the, the discussion, right? So they're reading the book, they're learning some of the information, and um, with the workbooks, they're doing little activities like finding their way through a maze and that kind of thing. So where, where, did you, where did you say that we could, we could find those, those books? So we have them in our office at the Department of Disaster Management. Okay, so, so can, can parents come and just collect one or Absolutely. department just, department just give that. them away? Yes. Okay, so parents, you can go to the Office of Disaster Management and collect coloring books for your children. <laughs> that will help them. <laughs> yes. And um, help you as parents get information to the child or the children on hurricane preparedness. Yes. Um, we also have printable versions on bviddm.com. Okay, that's bviddm.com. You can get printable versions of the coloring books. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, is there, is there any other thing? What, what, about, what about in the event that your home may get compromised and you have to go to a shelter? What can we do to accommodate children as parents, make them feel more comfortable in a sheltered environment? One of the things that is always on an emergency go bag list is some kind of book or game or toy for the kid because when you come to a shelter, you know you're not going to be there long, right. but still, um, even a short amount of time can feel really long to our children. So we want them to have something where they can occupy their minds and uh, feel comfortable and familiar. Okay. Uh, well, nowadays, nowadays, that means you may have to walk with a, a video game. <laughs> right, the children have their own tablets, true. <laughs> right, uh, so you have to work with your tablets and your power bank to make sure that, you know, they always have that video game or that laptop or that whatever <laughs> the device may be. 
to keep them going. Or make sure and pack a Wi-Fi, <laughs> a Wi-Fi box. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case there is no internet at the, at, the, at the shelter. You never know what you <laughs> might be able to use. Right, and 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 that is good. Just w any any anything, any last thing you would like to tell our viewing audience about preparedness, not only for children but for for your home on on a whole. Um, I I guess I would just encourage everybody, whether they're parents or not, to take some basic steps to check out their home. You know, right now we're having a little bit of rain in the BVI. It's a great time to inspect your home, inspect your gutters, check out if you have any leaks. Um, and you're able to kind of identify before an emergency if you do need any home repairs. Um, so, And then, of course, reviewing your emergency plans, make sure your contact um, numbers are all up to date in those things, making sure that everything is up to date. Okay. Thank you very much, Mrs. Abel, for your time and for your very informative information that you shared with us today. Oh, thank you for having me. That, that's not a problem. So we want to say thank you very much for coming. Uh, this is Jacob Adolphus saying goodbye until our next episode. Remember, think safety first.